The Forgotten Legacy, NASA's 70-year-old abandoned moon base. As president of the nation, standing at a crucial juncture to decide on a revolutionary project with a perfect plan that could potentially change the nation's strength, what would you do? What happens if that project is dropped and, after years, it gets attention again? Come let's explore in today's space saga. The Forgotten Legacy, NASA's 70-year-old abandoned moon base. Chapter 1 Vision and Ambitions In the midst of the Cold War between nations, space emerged as the new battleground for asserting national supremacy. The United States, driven by fierce competition with the Soviet Union, embarked on an ambitious project to establish a manned lunar outpost. This was a time of escalating tensions and a fervent race to prove technological and military prowess. The launch of Sputnik by the Soviets in 1957 had jolted American leaders, highlighting the urgent need to catch up and surpass Soviet advancements. The goal of the lunar outpost was not merely scientific exploration. It was a bold statement of technological dominance and military superiority. This visionary project aimed to solidify the United States' leadership in space and serve as a strategic platform for further extraterrestrial exploration. Chapter 2 The Genesis of the Moon Base To achieve this audacious vision, Project Horizon was conceived in 1959 by the U.S. Army, aiming to establish a manned military outpost on the Moon. The strategic goals were clear, secure military superiority and advanced scientific exploration. This lunar base was planned as a critical vantage point for surveillance, a relay station for communications, and a hub for space operations. Key to the development of Project Horizon was Werner von Braun, a former Nazi rocket scientist brought to the US under Operation Paperclip, a program that recruited German scientists post-World War II. Von Braun's expertise in rocket technology, particularly his designs for the Saturn rockets, was instrumental in laying the groundwork for Project Horizon. His involvement highlighted the project's blend of cutting-edge science and military ambition, aiming to ensure America's dominance in the burgeoning field of space exploration. Chapter 3 The Moon Base Becomes Reality The strategic ambitions of Project Horizon began to materialize between 1964 and 1966 when NASA launched a series of missions to transport materials and equipment to the Moon. This phase of the project involved innovative engineering solutions to assemble and secure habitats, laboratories, and support facilities in the harsh lunar environment. The construction team faced numerous challenges, but their ingenuity led to the development of cylindrical modules that were buried beneath the lunar surface. This design was crucial for protecting the base against radiation and meteorite impacts, ensuring the safety and sustainability of the outpost. In April of 1965, the first two men were scheduled to set foot on the moon, arriving in an area where pre-delivered cargo awaited the construction of the Horizon Lunar Base. Equipped with a lander capable of an immediate return to Earth, their mission extended beyond exploration, they were to assess lunar environmental conditions, confirm site suitability, and oversee cargo deployment. By late 1965, after six months of construction effort, the outpost took shape with cylindrical metal tanks buried beneath the lunar surface. These tanks, each 10 feet in diameter and 20 feet long, served as initial crew quarters for nine men arriving in July 1965. Powered by two nuclear reactors, the outpost operated preliminary quarters and supported equipment for constructing a permanent facility. It boasted two surface vehicles, a construction vehicle for lifting and digging and a transport vehicle for longer reconnaissance and rescue missions. By November 1966, the basic outpost housed 12 crew members and featured four nuclear reactors, two airlocks, a medical hospital, cold storage, and state-of-the-art biological and physical science laboratories. Ten subsurface compartments ensured sustained lunar surface operations, complemented by body conformation suits designed for lunar conditions, protecting against meteoroids and facilitating sterilization upon return to the outpost. 
Food logistics were critical, with four pounds per man per day sent pre-cooked and individually packaged, preserved through canning, dehydration, or freezing using hydroponic systems fueled by human waste nutrients. The outpost planned self-sustainability, including algae for animal feed, and contributing to fresh egg and meat production from confined chickens. The Soviets' intentions to establish a lunar outpost by 1967 spurred concerns of potential lunar conflicts, prompting defense preparations at the Horizon base. Claymore mines and the innovative Davy Crockett anti-tank weapon were deployed, reflecting the military foresight of the era. However, despite these ambitious plans and strategic foresight, President Dwight D. Eisenhower ultimately vetoed Project Horizon. He deemed its cost, estimated at six billion US dollars over eight and a half years, excessive, especially amidst concurrent financial strains from the Vietnam War. This decision marked a pragmatic turn away from grandiose space ambitions towards more sustainable national priorities. Chapter 4 – Legacy of the Abandoned Lunar Outpost By the late 1960s, the once promising Project Horizon had become a relic of a bygone era. The decision to abandon the lunar outpost reflected a complex interplay of political, economic, and social factors, marking a significant turning point in America's space exploration endeavors. Despite its abandonment, the lunar outpost left a profound and lasting legacy on space exploration. It boldly demonstrated the feasibility of sustained human presence on another celestial body, providing invaluable scientific data and insights into lunar geology and life sciences. The project captivated the public imagination, sparking a renewed interest in space exploration and fostering a sense of awe and possibility. But wait, the story isn't over yet. Chapter 5 – Rediscovery and Future Prospects In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in the abandoned moon base of Project Horizon. Advances in technology have opened up new possibilities for potentially restoring or repurposing the site. Initiatives like NASA's Artemis program are now aiming to revive the spirit of Project Horizon by planning for permanent lunar habitats and sustained human presence on the moon. The rediscovery of the Horizon moon base serves as a poignant reminder of human ingenuity and our enduring quest to explore the unknown depths of space. It continues to inspire a new generation of space explorers who are driven by the legacy of past achievements and the promise of future discoveries beyond Earth's bounds. Let's wait and see what the future holds for Project Horizon with the upcoming updates in the Space Saga episodes. Until then, stay tuned with us for more informative videos.